Good day viewers, welcome to Verdict TV. The news headline. Exposed. Truth about Peter Obi's meeting with Tinubu Son is finally out. See shocking revelation. The news in detail. A viral image depicting Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate in 2023 election, alongside Sheyi Tinubu, the son of the Nigeria's president, has ignited widespread reactions and discussions among netizens. The image recirculated with claims of a meeting between the two political figures seemed to suggest a significant political development. However, upon closer scrutiny and meticulous investigation, the image has been revealed to be an elaborate fabrication. The image showcased Peter Obi and Chei Tinobu in what appeared to be a meeting, with two portraits of Tinobu Sr. hung on the wall behind them. This visual juxtaposition entered at the possibility of the image being taken in a scenario where Chei Tinobu had already assumed the role of Nigeria's president. The immediate impact of the image led to speculations and debate as netizens weighed in on the potential implications of this alleged encounter. Initial observations of the photograph did indeed present the possibility of a genuine interaction between the two prominent figures. Yet, as the controversy grew, diligent reporters and investigators delved into the origins of the image, unearthing the truth behind the viral sensation. The original photograph discovered to have been taken earlier in the year, featured Shei Tinubu alongside an unidentified individual. A picture of former President Muhammadu Buhari adorned the wall behind them, signifying that the image was captured before May 29, 2023. As the investigation continued, a thorough forensic examination was carried out to ascertain the authenticity of the viral picture. This meticulous analysis led to a stunning revelation. The image was indeed a complete fabrication. The figure of Peter Obi on the left side of the photograph had been superimposed onto the original image using sophisticated photo editing software such as Photoshop or its equivalent. This discovery solidified the fact that the viral picture was entirely counterfeit designed to create a false narrative surrounding the political landscape. The exposure of this fake image serves as a reminder of the potential pitfalls in the digital age, where images and information can be manipulated to influence public perception and opinion. In an era where visual content can be easily manipulated, the incident underscores the importance of fact-checking, responsible journalism, and critical thinking. Hmm. Yet again, these people, they just want to make sure that uh, Peter Obi fans doesn't love, doesn't love him. But they lie. Because I don't understand why people will keep bringing different images, creating different this thing. You know, people will just keep um, Photoshop. They just be photoshop you up and down. Little did you know that the more you guys even do this, the more love our Peter will be. They don't know. They don't know. They really need to know. They are just looking for latest uh, means or how to make sure that Nigerians are being distracted, looking for latest means so that we would say, ah, we are not supporting Peter will be and all of that. Even this whole photoshop thing said, this exact image, the person did not do it well. Why are you editing fake, fake this thing? Get your facts real. If you know you want to come in between Peter Obi and Nigerians, get your facts real. But you know it's a lie. So you only try. You can only try. Eh? But Peter Obi is still our man. He's our man. We are not going to back up. We did not back up before now. So how are we going to back up in August? We did not back up since February. So whatever they do, they are just playing. Because we know that our Peter B cannot, cannot um, disappoint us or betray we supporters. We know that 
we deserve more, more than from him. So, people that are just uh, using their energy to make sure that they, uh, they get attention and all of that. Yes, they've gotten it, but we are not backing out. There's no way we are backing out from supporting Peter Obi because it's almost there. It's very, very close to winning it. We are just waiting for the judiciary to announce it. And we hope that they do the right thing this time. So somebody called Solution Creator said, if this is true, I think the coat of arms should be at the middle, not at the end of three portraits. If three portraits are involved, for two, it can be where it is. Okay, so the coat of arms, well, that's true. That's true. The coat of arms should be... That's why I said, that I see this Photoshop business here. Eh? Everybody just wants to get it. Nobody is taking their time to make sure that even if you want to go into Photoshop, use it to do the right thing. Like I think Kule Good now, there was a time that he was doing this Photoshop stuff. He can add Rihanna. He can add, you know, he, he had this vision to be with big, big celebrities, big, big people. And where is it today? He's literally chilling with J. Cole, chilling with the rest. You know? You at least do things that would make people acknowledge you for your good work, not for tarnishing certain people's image. It doesn't work that way. Not everybody is wired to be in that way. So I feel like we should desist from anything that has to do with because this is politics. We, we need to desist from um, every form of distraction as we are almost there. So no matter what other political parties bring or throw towards we the uh, Labour Party supporters, we, we, don't, we, don't, we, we really do not need for it to get to us because we know we are above them. We are above their standard now. Yes, now we don't have time to be doing all of this for other parties. Maybe that's what is going to pay themselves. Oh well, we've come to the end of today's discussion. Please do not forget to share your thoughts in our comment section. Also, like, follow, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And click on the bell notification so you will get recent news and updates from us. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to